and welcome to Kismet Rising. So I am with you for your weekly oracle card guidance and we're using the soul cards here and this is the deck one of the soul cards and I, I might have, I think I used it last year with you and I might have mentioned that it's one of my favorite decks and uh, we have three options today. Uh, my my daughter put her hand into a, a jar of balloons and these, she closed her eyes and these are the colors she pulled out. So they're not actually my selection, but uh, I think I'm going to use them next week as well and, and uh, I'm going to have my own selection then. But I hope that these balloons, <laughs> or these colors actually work with you. Um, we have the option one, which is the blue here. And we have the option two, which is the purple. This is actually a red, only it doesn't show that way on the camera. So it looks more like an orange. So go ahead, make your selection. And I'm going to go directly to the reading. So for those of you who've chosen the option number one, which is the blue balloon, um, we are asking, what is our weekly Oracle card guidance? The card's kind of falling around the place here. I feel it's this card here. So let's just go with that. So I feel with this card here, it's a recognition of your impact in the world. It's a recognition of uh, all that you do and the impact that it has on the world. It's not just what you do, but your thoughts and how that resonates um, in the world or what resonance it has in the future. So if you think of the way in which a... Um, a tsunami is, for, is formed uh, when two plates of the earth move together and, and under water and create this huge wave. Um, and what impact it has like a million miles later or thousands, thousands of miles later and how it comes to bear upon people and what it does and what the what the impact is. And that that's a very obvious example but um, sometimes it's just a thought or just an action or lack of or an inaction that actually has a resonance far beyond your understanding or your intention for that matter. So I feel here that you're being guided to actually use your talents or use that part of you which brings you peace to be able to spread more peace in the world. And you don't need to do that actively. The message here is that you can just do that for yourself and it will impact the world in a much more uh, impactful way than you realize. So it's to say that do what comes naturally to you. Do what brings you peace. Seek solace in the ways that you would naturally do so. And therein lies the secret. Therein lies the power and that which you need to bring into the world and you don't need to share it you don't need to do it be before an audience you don't need for someone to recognize it uh, you don't need to recognize it or judge it either you simply need to just do it and it's going to have an impact so I'm talking here about you know you just being yourself you know doing what you do best you finding that place in yourself where you feel mo the most amount of joy, the most amount of peace, and where you're just feeling connected, you know, connected to the divine or connected to the world, connected to yourself. And when you have that, it's going to impact everyone else positively as well. It's going to send out these ru the ripple of this energy into the world. And it's going to be really beneficial to many people or many other beings on this planet. There's also the sense here that you're being guided to, to do that, that you're being guided to bring a bit more um, of a flavor into your life. So it, it almost feels like your life was um, has lost some of its flavor or it's, it's not necessarily lost some of its flavor, but it's lost some of its color. And what I mean by that is it's nothing um, derogatory, but... Um, it's nothing negative either. It just means that perhaps you've been doing um, some of the same for a while and that there's another part of you, another aspect of you, which has been neglected or has been that you've not paid attention to. And it's almost as if 
this blue in the card um, here is what you need to bring back. It's need you need to bring a bit more into that. It's almost you've like you've released some of that and as a result you've lost some of it and it's about how can you bring some more of that in your life and it could be by just simply doing what you're doing right now and thinking about that energy or that emotion um, that you've previously had but it's it's not to say that there's anything wrong with the way that you're doing things right now it's simply to say that there's an aspect of you which has been neglected and if you can identify what that aspect is and bring a bit more of that into your life or pay a bit more attention to that and it doesn't have to be all at once um, because that can be quite overwhelming as well it can just be gradually naturally um, coming into your into your world and it feels like this is what you've been guided to do it feels like it feels like here you are being told okay you know what you have the support or the guidance of the universe or the divine and uh, you don't even need to call upon it we are here we are here to assist you and you have been playing this tune for a while why not shake it up a little bit and try something new even though what you're doing is beautiful and what you're doing has a resonance with the rest of the world and it's lovely but be sure not to lose your lose an aspect of yourself along the way so it almost feels like like those are the messages that are coming forth here that it's like it's almost to say that you've been doing a certain thing for so long that it's become part of your being and now this can be a particular habit that you have it's a particular outlook that you could have it could be anything um yeah, it could just be the way you do things, you know, or the perspective that you have. And it's become a part of who you are. And they just saying, well, listen, you know what, you could, there's another way, or there's a part of you that you've forgotten along the way. So how about retrieving that? And I think that um, th there is definitely a part of you here, which is connected to the divine and where you feel that resonance. And if you've been struggling to feel that recently, then just close your eyes right now, pause this video and feel that connection because it's definitely there. It's definitely with you. There's also an emphasis here on a certain talent that you may have or a certain ability that you have to be able to bring that charisma out of you and to be able to share that, to be able to just be uh, joyful or charismatic or peaceful or um, just golden in your own way. And, uh, and that is what I was talking about that's going to actually be creating these beautiful ripples in the world and be impacting all beautifully. So this card, I would say, just to uh, summarize, is talking about how you can continue to do what you're doing and what you do best. And as you do it with yourself, that it has an impact in the world in a beautiful way. And also to be able to recognize where it is that you might have forsaken a certain aspect of yourself or just neglected a certain aspect of yourself that maybe you could retrieve uh, now and again and also to recognize that you have this talent that you have this ability and that you have this connection um, and that it, it really is about going inward or maybe just sitting with an instrument or, or sitting with a piece of canvas or piece of paper or whatever you do you know in whichever way you are an artist in this life in whichever way you contribute in this life you know maybe you work with numbers maybe you're an accountant and this is where you this is your canvas you know an excel sheet might be your canvas so it's not only about uh, the traditional arts here it, it could be you know in whichever way you make your contribution in this world all right so i'm going to leave it there um i'm wishing you a fabulous week ahead please stay healthy and safe and well and many many blessings to you for those of you who've chosen the option number two which is this purple uh, balloon here we are asking, what is our weekly oracle card guidance? So, yeah, we are asking, what is our weekly oracle card guidance? So you can actually have come to this video at any time. And it will be 
applicable to you at the time at which you've chosen to come here. So here it looks like and it feels like um, there's a lot in you that you have. There's a lot in you that you're harboring and it radiates from you. But it feels here that you're holding it inside of you and it needs to find its way out of you. It needs to find its way out of you because it's almost like it needs to find an expression outside of you. So there's many messages that came in while I, when I first looked at the card and they kind of evaporated. So I'm going to go with one and hope uh, that the others have come up as I'm talking. So, you know, there's a sense here that there's a lot that you need to give birth to in this world, or there's a lot of power that you have. There's a range of your experiences and your being, your actual being, the power of your being, your soul, that really needs to be um, shared with this world. Uh, it needs to be radiated out, it needs to be recognized. And I feel like there may be many who recognize a part of you and understand your essence and your beauty and your wellness, your well-being, your, your goodness. But I feel also that there's a huge part of you that you're kind of holding in you. It's almost like it's in a gestation period. It's like it's um, like you're holding it in and hiding it almost from the world. Not that you can really hide it because who you are is obvious. It's obvious to the world who you are, even if there are those who cannot see you for who you are. Um, the, you are still who you are and many can recognize this and many can see that. And it's not about proving to anyone um, who you are or what you are. But here's the sense that, in fact, I feel like I just want to mention this. It's not really relevant to this card, but I feel like the moment you start to convince somebody who cannot see you of who you are, then uh, the battle is already lost. Uh, so just bear that in mind. But this card here is talking about having this, this amazing fire inside of you that has to come into the world in bite-sized pieces for the world to be able to appreciate it and for you to be able to share it without just completely exploding or completely uh, losing yourself in the process so it could be anything really it could be a talent that you have a gift that you have it could be a trauma that you have that you're processing and there's some wisdom that's come from that it could be just a a, a lot of knowledge that you have that you need to share with the world and there is it's talking about you know being brave enough to do that being confident enough to do that and not thinking too much about it not thinking about what others may say or do or how it will be received um, but simply expressing this openly and honestly now there is a sense that there might be some kind of repercussion of showing yourself into the world and I feel that's because you've tried to hold this in for so long that when you do actually share yourself or share your opinion share that knowledge that wisdom whatever it is that talent that you have that it's going to be um it's going to surprise some around you but this is this isn't a deterrent this isn't something that should stop you from moving ahead and creating and doing what it is that you desire I think the essence of this card is that there is something in this world that you're holding too tight to you, too close to your chest, that you need to share with the world and that it needs to be out there. It can't be held within. And in fact, the 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 joy from it or the um the consequences of releasing it, of bringing it out into the world will be of bring it would bring you more peace or it'll bring you it'll make you a fuller person it'll make you content 
it'll help you in completing your journey. It feels like this is something that you can't hold off, you know, you can't hold it off for too long. It's something that you must do and that you must actually um, confront with yourself. And if there is a fear or a lack of courage or lack of confidence or some kind of insecurity around it, that needs to be worked with and dealt with so that you can actually move forward. It can't paralyze you and you can't procrastinate with this so what is it? I think that when, you know, as I leave you with this card for today, um, the question I'm asking you is, what is it that you're holding close to your chest? What is it that you're holding inside of you that you are afraid to share, that you're afraid to share because you are unsure of the consequences of sharing that? And how is it that you can actually go about sharing that in bite-sized pieces that is comfortable for you but also in a way that it is um is easy for your environment or the world outside of you to accept that and you know don't lie to yourself or say to yourself well you know I can hide this really well or I can keep this to myself really well because it radiates from you it's clear you know there are many who see this in you and see what it is that you have and it doesn't make sense to hide it away and try to be anonymous and try to actually um, be quiet about it you can actually come out there with it and speak your truth and do what it is that needs to happen so that the next course of action could actually take place you know it's almost like as you're holding this inside of you and you're not willing to let go and you're afraid to let go and there's this huge power inside of you what it does is that it stops everything else around you as well as um inside it stops you you know and so i think that as you uh, let go of that and you disseminate this information or you release whatever it is you know a track or um whatever it is that you need to do you know perhaps it's you need to write a book or you need to put something out there perhaps you need to teach uh, or you just need to share you just need to share you know maybe you need to go somewhere where you have a platform where you can just share what it is that's inside of you and I feel like once you've done that then it's phase one coming to an end and there are many more phases after that and by you not doing what you need to be doing right now it's holding that up and I feel like it's been holding that up for a long time already you know so you gotta ask yourself like what is it that you've been meaning to do but you've not been doing and that you have many excuses as to why you're not doing it and very valid excuses you know good excuses maybe you haven't had time maybe your health's not been good maybe you haven't had the courage maybe the world's not been ready to receive it um maybe you're just unsure of yourself but this card is saying, well, you know what? Here's your time to stop contemplating, to stop reflecting, to stop planning and actually just release it, release it into the world. And you're going to find that it changes you and it changes your nature. And it definitely has a, a bigger impact on this world. And um, I just feel like also like it's so much of a burden for you to carry all of this inside of you. And, and that releasing it will make your life easier. It will make your life lighter in some way. So give it a try and let me know what you've experienced or what you feel. Um, yeah, good luck with that. And stay healthy, stay safe and many, many blessings to you all. So for those of you who have chosen the red, orange um, balloon here, the question we're asking is, what is our weekly oracle card guidance? Or what is it that you've come here to hear? So in this card, there's a sense of being 
of almost suffocating, of almost being in pain and being blocked and not being able to release yourself from the situation and also uh, not being able to express yourself and not being able to be saved. And I feel like that very specific message is definitely not applicable to everyone if you've chosen this option. Um, but I think here one can look at the broader themes of what's being spoken about. It feels like there's a part of you, there's something happening in you right now, which is uh, changing. It's almost like there's something changing really deep inside of you. And there are a lack of words or ways to express what's going on in you. And I feel like there's a part of you as a result that might feel really alone and really um, blocked off from the world, really cut off from the world and and just really, you know, frightened or really dismayed rather at what is going on. And one feels that at a level that is beyond being alarmed or beyond the the drama of everything and there is a sense that there is a need here for some kind of healing so the first thing I want to say here is that there is some kind of healing required for the body to be able to take in all the tension or absorb the shock of the situation and uh, potential therapies could be going to see an osteopath or seeing a cranial sacral therapist or a body stress release therapist or kinesiologist. Uh, those kind of therapies would really be very helpful for you right now. I also want to say here that, you know, what I'm talking about is fairly specific and it might not resonate with every single one of you. So if you've chosen this option and this message is not resonating, then please don't leave me a dislike. <laughs> Rather move on and find another, um, yeah, choose another option or find, perhaps go to one of my older Oracle card guidance uh, readings and, uh, and um, you know, choose an option there. And perhaps there's something else that will resonate better. But uh, if you, you know, just don't just leave me a dislike um, without actually saying why you're doing so because it doesn't give me a chance to improve anything. Uh, so just moving on here, I think that ultimately um, there's a sense that there is a loss of something. There's a loss of something or, the, or a trauma being experienced. And it could be that there's a trauma that's occurred a long time ago and that it's being re-experienced or there's a sense that you can't release yourself from it or that you're blocked from it or that you can't come out of the situation, that you can't just, you just can't get out of the situation. It's like you're in a glass box or something and behind you is the scene of the trauma and and you're trying to escape but you can't and it's almost like you've given up. It's almost like you've accepted that you can't escape. It's almost like there's a sense that you you can't escape from your mind or from your thoughts or from your from what's holding you to the situation. You can't escape from the bonds that tie you to the situation. And I feel here that um, this card is talking very much about your state of being at the moment. And uh, it's, it's talking about really being able to uh, release those bonds, being able to believe that there is a way out of this, being able to uh, work with that pain and trauma that has come to the surface or that has been there for a while. And just being able to, to move through that, work through that. And you're going to find that any barriers that stand in your way are going to magically disappear as you start worrying with these emotions and working with, with releasing them. I feel there's almost a sense of being trapped in a particular situation. So you might be living in a city and having to go about life 
in a particular way and they are trappings they're trappings of how you need to get to where you need to go to whether you sit in traffic or whether you using a uh, public uh, transport service and you know the trappings of that it might be trapping you that you need to go to a particular place every day for work or for something and in a way it makes you feel trapped it makes you feel like you are forced to be showing a part of yourself that you're not ready to show or um, showing a part of yourself that is um, that is um, needing more time or being exposed involuntarily or involuntarily I think the word is so there's this kind of you know holding back or pushing back uh, for when you are being exposed this is also called i feel of menstruation so it might be that for some of you um women of course um you may menstruate sometime during this uh week and or there might be some kind of bleeding in some way but i feel like if you are going to be menstruating this week if it's going to be something that if you are going to be in this phase of your cycle that there's a need to be able to go inward. Now, for those of you who aren't menstruating and um, for those of you who don't menstruate, this is not to say that there aren't those times in the month or in, in, in phases of one's life when one doesn't, one, one needs to go inward. One actually needs to focus on, on the inner being here as opposed to how one is seen in the world or how one presents oneself in the world. And this card is talking very much about that. It's talking very much about going inward, feeling, being in touch with and understanding one's peace, understanding one's connection and not feeling the barriers anymore. It's almost like the barriers melt away when you realize that um, you are, you have everything that you need inside of you and you have the faculty to be able to care for yourself and heal and prop yourself up if need be and and take care of yourself and so I feel like here there's a sense of just being at one with one's pain or one's reality I feel like still like this card doesn't resonate with everyone who's pulled this card so I would like to go ahead and choose another option for you so we're asking you for a card that complements this card or a card that uh, resonates with those who have chosen this balloon and who have not heard the message that they have come here to hear. And so this has fallen off. I'm just going to go with it. Okay, so this is a card which talks about being at one with oneself and being connected to the world above, the world below, being in balance with oneself, you know, the fire energy, the earth energy, I mean, the water energy here, it kind of balances one out, each other out and to, to, to feel that balance in you, to be able to take the heat and to be able to um, survive also under difficult conditions I feel here that um, I feel like this person here oh sorry for that I feel like this person here already is in this space this is the inner reality of this person and it's just trying to survive trying to balance things out trying to um, trying to cope actually it's like you're trying to cope you're trying to stay zen in the middle of quite a lot of turmoil quite a lot of things going on around you and so I feel like it almost feels to me like this card is a confirmation of that card and not really a different message uh, which is what I was looking for so I'm going to stay with the message that I've given you uh, for this week's for the third option here do let me know if it resonates and if it doesn't resonate of course and um, yeah and I think that there's a strength here, you know, there's a strength in being able to be calm and to being able to control any anxiety that one may have. There's a strength in simply coping and doing everything that one does on a daily basis, you know, just being able to get out of bed, being able to 
wash yourself, being able to get dressed, being able to get yourself moving is a huge effort in itself. And if some, if you've been depressed, if you've had um, the misfortune, I would say, of, of having depression in your life, then you know how hard it is to, to be able to do those basic things. And this person here, or you, I would say, is managing quite okay. You know, I think that you are doing fine and that you are well. I think what's important to realize here is that there is a huge strength inside of you and an ability to be able to cope with everything. But I feel here that if you're feeling like you need to break free from something, if you're feeling like you um, yeah, if you're feeling like you need to break free from something, then the best thing to do in those circumstances are to uh, just accept firstly that you are in the situation and uh, come to peace with it, be zen with it. And as you do so, the barriers will be melted away. It will be, it will be removed. It will become, it will just disappear. So I feel that that is the, the most important message here. And I feel also that, you know, if you're feeling like a bit battered, if you're feeling a bit battered, if you're feeling like you've been through a bit emotionally or just in terms of what you take in, in terms of social media, etc., cetera, um, or you're feeling like you've been a bit battered by circumstances, by situations that you've been in, then take time to heal and make an appointment with you, for yourself, you know, with a therapist that can actually help you, but um, not just with words and talking, but, you know, somebody who's a healer, somebody who's going to work with your body and work with removing stress from a tissue level or from a muscular level, from, you know, from your body. So try to care for yourself in that way. And um, yeah, do let me know if this message resonates. Um uh, I just, my feeling is that it's not going to resonate with a bunch of you, but it's going to be very helpful for a few of you. Um, and so I do apologize to those of you that this message has not resonated with. Um, and I think that if you've chosen it and you've stuck around to listen to it to the end, there must be something in there for you, perhaps not for you necessarily directly, but for somebody around you or a wisdom in there that needed to be um, deposited in your consciousness all right so i'm going to leave you there and i'm wishing you a fabulous week ahead please stay safe stay healthy stay well and blessings abound from kismet rising